and we are back. Welcome back to the RSC EU Prospect Playoffs. I'm here joined by Buddha. How are you doing, my guy? I'm doing great. I was in a big rush to get on here, but I'm looking very forward to some Prospect Playoffs. I have missed most of it, but I'm looking very forward to see this lower final game run and going on to the grand finals today. Today, we're going to have a champion. Absolutely. And, you know, it's always exciting when we have that. Uh, because we are a little bit behind, we are just going to skip straight over stats because we're all, players are already waiting uh, to get going. Uh, but, of course, we've, we're here with the lower final. And it is going to be Terra versus Kingling. Uh, we are just waiting for the, for the remaining players to get back into the lobby. But just quickly, as I'm looking at these stats, uh, both these teams are... Well, I'd, I'd say Terra probably has the edge, and that's probably a given, given their, their second in the league. Kingling, however, aren't too far far behind. They are only fourth on the board. So these te this could be a good series. And uh, Do you have any predictions for this one? Do you, do you have a side which you think it's going to lean more towards? I mean, I, I was quite with Terra. They look like a solid side, but then you know I saw they got swept by Ariel, so <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they're a bit weaker than I thought. But Kindling, uh, the games that I've casted over them, they've really put up a, a performance. And as we've seen, they beat Arcturus 3-1 and Micah Faction 3-2. So I think Kindling, I reckon they might just come out on top just because they've got that momentum, you know, losing two games in the lower bracket. So I reckon they're, they're going to have that momentum to their advantage. But Terra, they're no team to mess with because they are a solid team. Well, I'm just hoping Terra can get a little bit of redemption here from that upper upper final because they got swept and that is not a nice feeling. But here they are in the lower bracket final. They still have that life to go. And of course, they have Kingling to go through for it. But we are underway in this series. Game number one of this best of five. Hopefully, Terra can make amends early, from earlier. But straight away, they're already put on the back foot as uh, their opponents are coming out nice and warm out the gate they don't seem to be uh, they don't seem to be that cold they seem to still be nice and warmed up ready to go which is what you love to see you love to see them raring to go that's exactly the rocket league that we want to see but right now it's a bit back and forth it is a bit back and forth indeed i must say kindling i mean it's only been 40 seconds they do have just a possession over onto the edge of terror you know, in game number ones, it's always that warm-up game. It's the game where everyone's got to feel it out, but Oli goes for the double touch, but he does miss the shot. That would have been a banger of a first goal for the series. Absolutely, and you'll love to see those flashy plays, and if we can see flashy plays, I'm all for it. You know, the hype shots to get everyone hyped for the games, but unfortunately, we weren't gifted that shot, and right now, Oli looking to make his mark on at this first game but not quite able to Grizzly Bear very far back as a third man so that's kind of interesting to see that they were that far back usually you don't have teammates all the way back but perhaps that's a play style that they're comfortable with and Oli going for a, a double tap there but not quite able to make it work didn't quite have the boost to catch up to it and now small panda with it attempts on the shot part going for the demo Oli keeps it out but panda again just diving in and the pressure is coming out this is what we want to see from Terra they are looking very very solid on offense right now just keeping that pressure up and it might only be a matter of time until we see a goal. How thin can you spread the defense is the game Terra are playing right now. <laughs> Two minutes in and we still haven't got our first goal. I remember the last time I casted Kindling, it was Raw Toxie. He was the player who was stepping up for their team. So I'm expecting him to be the player to stand out. But for now, it is Oli. He's definitely looking very comfortable with the couple of double taps that we have seen. The Charles Raw Toxie does get the block and it goes in. He finds the first shot of his own and the first goal of the series. I mean, that dunk was great, but that pass down as well from Grizzly Bear, fantastic. Just a little bit of a mistouch on the defense there, but sometimes a mistouch is all it takes for a goal to go in, and that is going to be a 1-0 in the favor of Kingling. They're starting this one off nicely. Managing to score in the first half of the game and actually going to make it two, uh, going to get an equalizer straight away. And Terra managing to keep this one level and I, th I think a similar thing happened earlier just back to back goals off the kickoffs and that's what happened here one on either side equal game once again we we you know it took a couple of minutes to find our first goal and then straight away it's just leveled out it, it's back and forth yeah kindling probably a little bit upset about that that was a goal that you shouldn't really be conceding the defense just wasn't quite there just slipped out but 
you know, Kindling has been showing that more of a team play as we saw that pass on Grizzly Bear, but Raw Toxic just got the shot and he goes in! <laughs> this man, he's, he's already scored two goals. He takes it up the wall, gets a beautiful ceiling shot, gets the perfect placement of a shot, and Potter just could not save it. Top shelf. He also avoided that bump on the wall as well. I think that's something that a lot of people would skip past, but having to avoid that bump as well, it's so hard to avoid those wall bumps when you're going for a flashy play, and he manages to do it perfectly, and it, it works out in a goal for them. A well-earned goal, and that's a really good fake. He might have himself a second goal, but sends it very, very high. Forces B-Shake up with all his boost, and now Oli not quite able to generate enough power to find the back of the net here, and Grizzly will get a double fake, but probably just about able to get on the end of that ball to make a 50 happen right now on defense. Royal Toxie again. What has he got for us this time? Unfortunately, he's only got a whiff for us this time and Tara can breathe a, uh, the, take a sigh of relief as that will not find its way through, but Panda trying to find his way through. Finds his way through the car and completely takes him out the field. An opportunity, keeping the pressure up, but nothing's going to come of it. No one willing to make that risk there. And... I think Terra definitely needs to start making some risks as they are one goal down. Maybe not too heavy a risk, but they need to start getting some offensive pressure. Otherwise, I feel like Kingling will score again, even if he's just Royal Toxie leading the charge. But there it is. B-Shake, lovely placement, finds that top corner to all. I was going to say, for Terra, I want to see some passing plays, but just there and then, B-Shake's like, you know what? I've got a free shot. I'm going to bang it in the top corner. Cool. Defense, there's no one there to challenge the ball early enough. And both of Terra's goals have just almost been gifted. But Kindling's goals have been well, well prosecuted. Sorry, I lost my words there. But, you know, <laughs> Kindling, their goals have been well-deserved. And Terra, it may be some lucky goals, but that is due, due to Kindling's mistakes. Absolutely. And sometimes mistakes is all you need to capitalize on. But Terra just get another one straight back. They got the equalizer. Now they're going for the leading one. B-Shake able to get a nice little pass off the backboard. Grizzly Bear just not quite ready for it. And Potter's going to slot that just behind him. And just like that, Terra have now got themselves a one-goal lead. The question is, can Kinling answer back pretty quickly? It's It's been level for... It has a, neither team has had a lead for very long. So we'll see how long they can hold on to this lead. Kinling are definitely a team who can bring it back with a minute to go, only being a goal down. We've seen that mechanical ability from Rule Toxie throughout the game. So I'm expecting him to be the man to get his hat trick. But Oli and Grizzly Bear, maybe they could be the players to step up. But as I said, a small panel does go for the shot. It does go for the crossbar. Potter does not find the shot through the follow. But Bishik now sort of find the counter attack. It does get saved by Oli. Small panel will follow through. It does go up to the backboard. Well, Toxie does fail to find the clear. Grizzly now. It's going to be my field. Potter. The gift it to Oli. Oli now. Zero boost to his name will not find the cross. Honestly, I, I, I think Kindling could bring this back. But Terra, they're definitely holding it down. Absolutely. Terra, for, for the past minute or so, Terra for, had really solid rotations. I've been paying attention to the way they're moving around each other, and I'm not seeing that many double commits or over commits, whereas I think in the series earlier, there was quite a few of them. So they seem to have worked on their mistakes in that little downtime that they were given. In that half an hour, they seem to have figured out what was going wrong, and you know they're, they're actually looking to take game number one here. They just have to ride out this countdown, and Small Panda is going to extend that to a two-goal lead with six seconds left. I'm going to say that's nail in the coffin. Game one is going to Terra. Yeah, I think Terra have taken game number one. It's just it's kind of upsetting to see from Kindling because at the in the first half of the game they were looking pretty strong. The rotation was on point, and they were scoring some really good goals. And just all of a sudden, it's just started to go downhill on the defense. It just seemed to, it might be miscommunication, but the defense, it seems to be hesitant of who's going for the ball. Well, just like that, Terra are going to take game number one. They've already managed to put their foot in the door for this series. They'll, they've got their eye on that grand finals and, you know, they were unable to do it in the upper bracket. But hey, maybe, maybe this is their series. They're starting off very well. They had some good offensive pressure, had some good defense as well. Uh, but speaking of good defense, Kinling, the stats on their defense for this game, you can you can show that they were pressed uh, for defense right there. Spread across seven saves. That's quite a lot of saves for one game. Yeah, and we had 12 shots from the Terra side, and we only had nine shots on the Kinling side. So altogether, we had, we had 21 shots between these two teams in game number one. You know, in game number one, normally teams are warming up, but these two teams, it was going back and forth. They're taking their turns, taking their opportunities, and they're really showing that they do want to go through to that grand final. 
But, you know, game number one, Terra do take it. And I must say, Kindling, they, they are looking solid, but the defense is a little bit messy. It's a bit shaky. They really need to communicate well on the defense. It just seems to be like they're not 100% sure who's going for it. And it's just giving Terra these opportunities. Absolutely. And, you, you know, I, I think uh, I don't usually say take a leaf out of your opponent's book because you want to be playing your own game, not your opponent's game. But I definitely think Kindling need to take a look at how Terra were moving on their defensive rotations and, you know, may, maybe a look at how they're doing and go, actually, we need to implement that. We need to try that. We need to make sure that we're not we're not overextending. We're making sure we're in the right positions because if we're in the right positions, these aren't the hardest shots to save, if we're being honest. But game number two underway. 1-0 so far in the series to Terra. We'll see if they can keep that one up in this game or if Kindling can find their way back into this one. It is B-Shake to start us off, going for a little bit of a double tap on the side. But Grizzly Bear is going to pick this one up. Goes for the hook shot, blocked by Pa. Pa did a good job of cutting rotation there just to get that block. And, you know, I, I spoke about them having a good rotation. Sometimes, you know, those, those rotational cuts are what's going to help you. And, well, where's the defense for Kindling? That's not a very good start. If that's how we're looking for the rest of this rest of this yeah. game, yeah, that was a double commit for the killing side. They're very fortunate that no one from the terror side were there to punish them for it because that is a mistake that will easily be punished if it is noticed. The kindling, they're going to try find their first shot. They still struggle to find the terror now. Try to find that shot, but real toxic will clear it out, out to the left hand side. So try to find a shot of the zone. It's going to take it up to the backboard. Go for the double touch. He does not find it. Does get followed through by Ollie, but does not find the back of the net kindling they're starting to build some fire of their own you know i think by the end of this series i just want to see someone hit a really nice double tap that's all i want now just because <laughs> everyone keeps seeming to go for them but just no one's able to keep enough boost in the tank to finish it off but it would be nice to see a shot of that caliber in these games uh, ollie and we're all talking to you looking for the pass play now the pass a little bit too far forward but the idea was there and at least you can see the ideas coming out from Kingling, they're looking for each other, they're positioning themselves well for those offensive attacks and maybe it's only a matter of time until they get the chance to score one of them. But right now, Small Panda gets a chance and they take it and they get the first goal of a game number two and the bumps as well coming out from Potter and no one's in a position then to save it. Yeah, that, that was a great bump by Potter and again, just under two minutes, we find our first goal. And it does go to Terra this time. As in last game, it was Kindling who took the lead. But it is now Terra. So let's see what they can do with it. Oli now is going to go for an air dribble. Does not find the second touch. It's going to drop down the B-Shake. B-Shake, just clear it up the field. Will get touched by Real Toxie. Just take it to the corner. Does not find the touch he was looking for. Potter with this shot. Does get saved by Grizzly Bear. Small Panda now follows through. Grizzly Bear can't find the save. And Small Panda finds a second goal of his own. And a second goal for Terra. Uh, small Panda just seems to be in the right position. And they, they, I, I'm going to go back to my point about the rotations. They just they found a rhythm in their rotations, and that is dangerous for Kingling because once they're in that rhythm, you know the pressure keeps on building and building and building until they eventually crack and let a goal through. And if that's how Terra is going to play this series, it's going to be incredibly difficult for Kingling to find their way into this one. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Kindling really need to find something if they want to build hope in this series. Because for now, it is all terror in game number two. As you see, Small Panda is going to go for a dribble of his own. Just find the shot, but just get saved by Ollie. B Shake does not find the touch. He's looking for Wall Toxie. Does get the block. Does fall down to Ollie. Ollie does find the shot. Does place it in the bottom left corner. And Kindling find their first goal of their own. I must say, that was the, the perfect 50 there from Wall Toxie to fall to Ollie. Absolutely, it almost went directly to him. You could, you could even call that a pass. It was that direct to his teammate. And, you know, it was really, really well played for Oli to, to be there, to be in that position, to trust his teammate to get a good 50. And, you know, Raw Toxie delivered on that 50. And it shows with a goal. And now they've reduced that goal uh, difference to one. The question is, can they find the equalizers? Raw Toxie is going to take this one downfield. He's got Grizzly Bear in support. It's off the backboard. B Shake just about able to get a touch. And. Well, they're still on offense now. We'll see if they can keep up some pressure as Ollie's trying to trying to get off the backboard again, but the defense is just holding strong from Terra right now. I must say, Ollie is definitely having a great game for himself in game number two. Or he's putting up a goal and three saves for his team. And Terra is small panda with his two goals that do lead his team for them. B Shake now just try to find the pass. Let's fall back to Ollie. Potter now tries to get the block. We'll fall up in the air. 
will tox you down. He's going to follow through. Does not find a second touch off the corner. Panda, not finding the clear, but B-Shake will recover for him. Let's get touched by Panda. Ollie does follow through. He's going to hit it up. Small Panda is going to have a free shot here, but he does not find the touch. And it is a shot by Ollie, but does get saved by Potter. And Kindling does find the shot by Rotoxy, but does not go in. Grizzly Bear now going to try to find a shot of his own, but Small Panda with the save. Kindling was so close, but so far. Yeah, all credit goes to B-Shake on that one. That, that definitely could have been the equaliser, but B-Shake pulling out an incredible save on that goal line. I'm pretty sure that ball was about halfway in the goal when he got that save. So fantastic defensive effort, and he almost gifted with a goal as well. Just places that one on top of his opponent, unfortunately, and now Kindling back on the offense. B-Shake missing out on the ball. Ollie off the backboard. Rawtox is there. He gets a touch. B-Shake again with a save and B-Shake is holding his team together right now at the seams because the defense, well, it's being spread thinner and thinner as we go. How how long can Kinlan go before, before the defense is uh, completely gone and they get gifted that goal? I feel like it's only a matter of time. Yeah, Kindling are keeping this possession in their box and in their half, but the shots, they're just not connecting to the back of the net, and that is what they need in the last 20 seconds of game number two as Terra. They do hold a strong four in the defense. His name may be Shake, but his defense is definitely not shaky in game number two. Oli now goes for the 50. He does get win by Small Panda. We'll go up in the middle. We'll talk to you now. He's going to hit it to the side. Be Shake. He's going to go for the follow. He does get beat by Grizzly Bear. Small Panda now is going to follow through. Does find the touch, but Ollie will try to get the touch. Does miss. Will Toxie trying to find the clear? Does get followed by Potter, but Potter does not find the shot. And Terra take game number two. Well, uh, Terra got swept earlier. Now they're looking to sweep. They put themselves in prime sweep position here, putting themselves on match point two nil up in the series. Only one more game to go, but now Kindling. Kindling, it's time to get out your brooms. It is reverse sweep time. I definitely think they're ramping up. After that game, they looked a lot more calm and calculated in that second game. So I only think the third game is going to be even tougher of a game from them. I definitely think Terra need to need to continue their defensive efforts to stay on top of this one because Kindling look like they're lighting a fire right now. <laughs> For sure, but you can't doubt them. If any team can take a reverse sweep in the playoffs, it can be and it will be Kindling, hopefully so. But Terra... Looking very strong as we do go into game number three. Terra are on match point, leading the series 2-0. to zero. Kindling, this is the first step for the reverse sweep. Well, first step there. Small Panda trying to deny them straight away with a shot from Long. They were chasing the demo as well, but they were able to get the save. And Will Toxie linking up with his teammate to get this one downfield. Looking for the shot there, but it's a little bit tame and it's easily cleared by Small Panda. But he doesn't want to take control of it. Just sends it all the way downfield and... That's not what you want to do, really. You want to keep control of that ball as much as possible. You want that ball to have reason. There's a bit of a reason there. B-Shake upfield, just not quite able to make it. Ollie shooting at his own net there. I'm not quite sure what he was trying there, but thankfully for him, he did not result in an own goal. He's just trying to make it intense for us, you know, for the stream as it's playoffs. As we'll talk to, he does find the shot, but does not find the net. Potter now. I find a dribble of his own. Does get intercepted by Grizzly Bear. Ollie now with the block, but does fall back into the orange corner. Well, Toxie not finding the touch. Let's get followed by Small Panda. Grizzly Bear with a great save, keeping Kindling in the game. Does go up to the backboard. B-Shake with the follow. No boost to his name, so he could not find the shot. Well, Toxie now does get the 50. Does win it. He's going to try to find a shot of his own. Does pass it into the middle. Ollie with the shot. B-Shake. B-Shake with a great save. A beautiful pass from Kindling, but a great save from B-Shake. The defensive efforts from B-Shake this series have been phenomenal. You had the, the insane save last game on the line and then that save from, you know, what was a really good pass play. And they just shut Kingling down straight away. And Small Panda's actually going to get a chance at the net here. Unfortunately, he puts it a little bit wide. I was going to have the follow-up though, but can't make anything happen. But again, it just the defensive efforts from, from Terra have not ceased to amaze this series. Now, as you do say that, we do have Terra on the attack. Well, Tox now does go up for the save, does beat the player to the ball, but does remain in the kindling half. B-Shake now, he's coming out of the defense. He's going to try to find a shot of his own, but Wall Ro Toxie is there to beat him to it. Ollie now, not finding a pass, does give it to Potter. Potter now booms it up. Grizzly Bear is going to touch it down. A bump by Potter onto Wall Toxie. Grizzly Bear does find the 50. will go out to the side. B-Shake now, does get beat by Wall Toxie, does fall down to Ollie. Ollie now. Let's get the touch up field, but small panda will clear it to the backhand corner. Ollie trying to find that touch off the wall. Grizzly Bear 
trying to find that cross in. Just find the cross. Oli finding the oh. shot and Kindling find their first goal just over three minutes in. Oh, I feel so bad. Oli getting the damage. And Panda just. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what happened to his reaction speed there, but unfortunately, Small Panda just takes a little bit too long to decide to go for that ball, and it will find its way into the back of the net as the uh, player waiting around, lurking, waiting for the mistake to happen. It, it did happen. So Kinling now taking a lead in game number three, showing that they still want in. They still want into that grand finals. They want their ticket. They're just fighting for it. And they have a long way to go, but you know what? Getting a lead in game number three is the is the way to start. It is a start, but it's not 100% guaranteed. And Terra now find an attack of their own, but Oli will be there to save it for them. He is going to take his time in the corner now. Zero Bruce to his name. Does beat the touch to the player, but B-Shake now is going to find touch of his own. Will go for the 50 on Grizzly Bear. Does win it. Down to Potter. Potter now boom into the corner. Will Toxie will be there off the wall. Does get followed through by Panda. Panda not finding the strongest cross. B-Shake now will follow through. He's going to try to find a second touch, but does get beat by Oli. Oli giving it to himself. Back to Will Toxie. Will Toxie now. They'll try to find a pass to his teammate, but Small Panda with a great interception. I say Terra. They're starting to struggle a little bit on the offense. Uh, Kindling definitely improving as the series is going. Absolutely, show it showed us that they got they got stamina uh, for for a series, and that you know sometimes this series, all you need is a bit of stamina. Even if you go down a game or two, some some teams are just slow starters, and maybe maybe that's uh, maybe that's what Kindling is. Maybe they're a slow starter. You need to you need to preheat the oven a little bit, and that's exactly what they've what they've uh, done with the first two games. You know, first game a little bit heavier on the side of Terra. Second game a little bit closer. The third game. They're looking a lot better. The shot just saved there. And one minute left on the clock. They still have a one goal lead. They're hanging on to that one. And you know what? If they carry on playing this way, it looks like they're going to take it. Uh, Kindling definitely looking good to take this game. I'd be very excited to see if they do. And they do see the beginning of the reverse sweep. But Potter is going to try to find this counter attack. Will Toxie will beat him to it. B Shake not finding that touch. It will fall to Small Panda. Small Panda, he's going to pop up in the air. But Ollie will be there to beat him to it. Potter now is going to take control. He's got a little bit of time on the ball, but Will Toxie will find the ball for himself. Tries to find the shot, but B-Shake does clear it to the side. Potter getting a demo on Grizzly Bear. B-Shake now trying to find that cross. Does fall to Small Panda. Small Panda trying to find a pass back to B-Shake. B-Shake does get the touch, but does not go where he wants it. Small Panda nearly go for another shot, but does get blocked. Kindling's defense is looking so solid that Terra just cannot break it. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to break it at all because with this... Oh, oh, hold on. I thought that was going to hit the corner. It didn't quite hit the corner of the wall, so it will hit the floor. And Kinling, they have started it. They have got their brooms out. They've heard us. They heard the call for the reverse sweep. And you know what? They're, they're starting it, and they're starting it with a one-goal lead. Maybe that will gradually start to increase. Maybe they'll get a little bit more dominant as it goes on. But now they have a little bit of momentum behind them. Let's just see how well they're able to carry that flame. Yeah, I must say that. The difference between these two teams, both of their defense is phenomenal when they're actually, you know, hitting the ball and playing consistent. But I must say the difference that stands out for me is Kindling. When they score goals, it's a pass and play or a bump play. Terra, I mean, they've had a couple of demo plays, but most of their goals have just been relying on Kindling to, you know, just make a mistake in the defense. So if Kindling are consistent on that defense, I don't think Terra are going to find a goal unless they involve some team players. Yeah, absolutely. They're definitely definitely playing uh, playing differently than what they did at the start. They're right? they've, they've found the weaknesses in Terra, and they're quite clearly exploiting them. The stats across the board are a little bit a little bit more tame. We've seen like what was it, twenty one shots in the first game, whereas this game you've literally got five shots on each side, so ten altogether, which is a considerably different sort of uh, a lot more of a, a midfield battle going on, and they're just preventing the opportunities. So. Hard four opportunities. It looks like it's going to be low score and maybe from here on out if that continues to be the case. But well, we have a game at number four on our hands. Still possibly the last one if Terra are able to perform like they did in the first couple of games. But Kindling, as I said, they got momentum going into this one. Yeah, at this point, anyone can take it. It's just who performs better when it matters and when it means the most. Did you see now Panda not finding that touch? Will Toxie now is going to pop up in the air. Does find the second touch. Looks for the third. Does not quite get it. 
Potter will clear it down to B Shake. B Shake, no boost to his name. We'll get a light touch. Potter will follow through. We'll try to find a second off the corner. Does not quite find what he was looking for. Panda now does get a touch from the corner into the midfield, but Ollie will be the one to pop it up. Grizzly Bear trying to follow through with zero boost. You see the Kingling defense not quite punishing the ball here, as we do see a shot from Panda, but not quite strong enough. We've already seen both teams. It is quite equal, and I must say, I feel like the pace has slowed down a little bit since the beginning of the series. Absolutely. I mean, we already seen the, the goals start to decrease and the stats start to go down. And that just mean that either means one or two things. People aren't really getting the chances or people aren't making the chances. And right now, I think it's a little bit of both. Both teams are just trying to find the uh, find their way to outplay their, the other side completely. And in doing so, it's kind of slowing down the game. You know, the thought processes have to take a little bit longer because they're trying to calculate everything that they can do and will do. And... It, it all just, I suppose it all just depends on who comes up with a solution quickest at this point. As we have seen in every single game, it's, we, we've not seen a goal in the first minute. We've only seen a goal just under two minutes. So for now, I'm expecting a goal in a few seconds. But who would it be? We shall find out. A beautiful pinch, I think, that was from the wall from Potter. Oli will take the ball off the wall. Will Toxie not find him that touch? B shake now. The final dribble of his own does find the shot. Does get overall Toxie, but does hit the crossbar. Does get followed through by Potter. Potter hitting the crossbar as well. No, Terra just could not put the ball in the back of the net. Just the crossbar. Well, that was a fantastic effort from Terra. It definitely looked like they were about to get the first goal of game number four, but alas, the posts. Uh, now signed on to uh, Kindling now, so they've got a, another player to contend with, it seems. <laughs> the crossbar grabbing that MVP role from the series, saving Kindling at the back foot in the defense. You just see Potter trying to find a shot, but it does get followed through by B-Shake. B-Shake finds a shot. Grizzly is there on the front post. Save. Let's try to find another touch, but Small Panda will be the one to beat him to it, but we'll Toxie. to try to get this out of the orange half. Just fall over back to Grizzly Bear. Grizzly Bear is going to pop it up. Does bang it into no man's land where B Shake will be there waiting for the ball. Does try to find that 50, but Kindling, I must say, the defense is looking so much better than we saw in game number one and two. In game number three, if they keep it up, I honestly think Kindling might take it. Well, they're definitely applying more pressure and dividing the pressure a lot better as well. Because uh, Terra have had some good chances. I mean, we've seen obviously the two crossbar shots. Uh, but fortunately for Kingman, they're able to hold off just in time. And, you know, their counter-attack ability has looked pretty solid as well. So I think if, uh, well, I mean, you can see here, the counter-attack. Waltoxy just almost putting that one through. Just the, the defensive powerhouse, the brick wall B-Shake is just keeping them keeping them out. And I, th I think the moment B-Shake misses the save is the moment Kingman get the goal. I mean, you're not wrong. I do feel like that is going to be the case. And so, as soon as I saw that save, I already knew it was B-Shake on the ball. You know he's going to be there ready. It is a shot for Grizzly Bear. Does get followed through, bro. We'll talk to you, but Potter is there with the great save, keeping Terra in the game at nil-nil. Four minutes in, we've not even had the first goal of game number four yet. This could be a nil-nil overtime if no one is going to break that ice. Well, we see here Kindling looking for one. Raw Toxie looking for that double again, but it was sent a little bit too high. And Panda was very smartly positioned on the backboard. And so is Potter there. But Ollie getting the pass down. Grizzly Bear the shot, but just a little bit too tame. And Panda will get the save. And Raw Toxie into the middle. Potter's there to defend this one. He's going to follow it up himself onto the wall. It's this one down though. Grizzly Bear now can set up a little dribble. Not able to get the flick, but Ollie's just behind him. Misses out on the ball. B Shake sends it high. Potter for the follow, but Raw Toxie with the clear. It's Panda's job to keep this one in, which he does. He gets a bump as well, and it's looking a little bit hectic in that corner, and no one likes a corner battle, but there we go. Oli finds his way out. He's looking for the pass into the middle, but sends it too far towards net, and Panda's able to get a save, but 10 seconds left on the board. It does really look like we're going to overtime, unless someone can make something happen in the last few seconds, but it's all down to B-Shake, and he misses out on that ball, and we are going to have a nil-nil overtime. I believe this is the first overtime of the series. Kindling coming into it with five shots. We have Terra coming in with six. Very equal sided. It's just which team will find the first goal of the game and the final goal of the game, which will be the winning golden goal. 
See Panda now on the backboard. Let's get the touchdown. Oli, no boost to his name. Just find the lightest touch. Well, Toxie is just going to wait out for Potter now. Potter does have no boost to his name. Potter is... He's not scared with zero boost. He's going to go for the shot. Oli does get the save. Imagine if Potter just 1v3 to zero boost. Oh, oh the no. Panda. Small Panda. No. Oh, my word. You know what? That I... Potter getting try, try for the 3v1 with zero boost and then they get the save and then immediately Panda getting the dunk of his life sends it into the back of the net and Terra will be your lower bracket winners if you're kindling right now you feel so robbed <laughs> the ball out of nowhere just Pinches into the back of your net from a 50-50. And I'll tell you what, that wasn't a 50-50 on their favor. That was a that was a 99 to a 1. But Terra are your lower final champions. And I do believe they go through to the grand final where they will face Ariel. And I must say both teams did play exceptionally well, but Terra did just come out on top. Absolutely. I definitely saw Kingling getting that overtime. I'm quite surprised. At that 50, that, that's that's definitely a goal that would catch most people out. You know, you can't predict those 50s to just pinch into the back of the net. And, you know, it's just unfortunate for uh, Kingling that they weren't able to take us to a Game 5. I would have loved to have seen a Game 5 between these two teams. But alas, we won't be able to see that. And they will take uh, third place. And, well, Terra now have a chance to redeem themselves even further in that Grand Final. Yeah, you know, at least they didn't get swept. At least they won one game of the series. But uh, honestly, I, I'll be quitting Rocket League, uninstalling, <laughs> after conceding that. I'll, I'll be gone, leave the stream, leave the Discord, just gone. I'm, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm, I'm out of it. But anyway, that does wrap it up for the lower final. And I do believe, you know, we got to interview one of the players. But I'm 50-50 with Small Panda or B-Shake. Uh, oh. My bad. No interview. <laughs> my bad. That is all my apologies. Well, I must say, that was an excellent series to watch and cast. Absolutely. It was, that was a pleasure to cast. That was a very a very exciting series. I'm, I'm a little bit sad that we didn't get to see our uh, double tap, but you know what? There was enough attempts at those flashy plays that I, I'm happy with that. So uh, that's, a, that's a very good series to lead up into the grand finals, which, of course, we are going to take a short break while we get set up for the grand finals uh unfortunately i won't be casting for the grand finals as i will be gone but i'm sure uh whoever's casting it for you will bring you a fantastic final series